Water is our most precious resource, especially living in the Sonoran Desert. So do you know where our drinking water comes from? The sky. It comes from the pipe in my kitchen. You may not realize it, but there are hundreds of Scottsdale employees working around the clock every day of the year, including weekends and holidays, to make sure you have clean, safe water and sewer services whenever you need it. Have you ever thought about what happens to the water after you flush the toilet? Yeah, I've, I've, I've thought about that. It goes, <laughs> goes down the, uh, the drain and uh, down the sewer and uh, somewhere from there. <laughs> Before your drinking water even enters a treatment plant, it must travel hundreds and even thousands of miles. You see, most of our drinking water in Scottsdale starts out as snow in the mountains in northern Arizona, or even further north in the Rocky Mountains. As the snow melts, it either seeps into the ground or flows directly into a river or lake. Scottsdale's main water sources are the Colorado, Salt, and Verde Rivers. The Central Arizona Project Canal brings Colorado River water to the northern part of the city, and the Salt River Project brings water from the Salt and Verde Rivers to the southern part of the city. This sounds simple enough, but there's a lot of planning, engineering, and collaboration that goes on to make this happen each and every day. Water Resources Planning and Engineering staff is continually assessing our water needs and demands. Our hot, dry summers require more water than our cooler winter months to sustain our quality of life. So there's a fluctuation in the amount of water we use every month. This means performing thorough and detailed evaluations to determine how much water we'll need to purchase from CAP and SRP in advance. We also have to take into account our current customers' needs along with new customers and development that will be part of our community in the future. We revisit these evaluations every time the Planning and Engineering Group updates our Water and Sewer Master Plans, which is approximately every three to five years. Depending on the time of year, water resources will treat anywhere from 40 million gallons of drinking water a day to over 100 million gallons of water a day. Our goal is to achieve environmental sustainability by using mostly surface water, which minimizes groundwater pumping. This is a very important component of assuring water for now and the future, and is referred to as safe yield. Safe yield is achieved when as much water or more is returned into the ground than you pumped out in any given year. It's not very glamorous, but our planning and engineering staff also manages our sewer collection and water reclamation systems. Over 95% of our highly treated sewage is reused to irrigate golf courses north of Indian Bend to generate electricity or is recharged into the ground. A portion of our sewer flow is treated and used for cooling water at the Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station. No other nuclear power plant in the world relies solely on reclaimed water for this purpose. Planning and engineering is also responsible for managing all of water resources assets, equipment and infrastructure, both above and below ground. This includes water and sewer lines, wells, pump stations, equipment and treatment plants, valves, you name it, and this group determines if a piece of equipment needs to be replaced or just repaired. And it's all done to ensure you get clean, safe, reliable drinking water and sewer service at an affordable price. Water conservation is also part of the planning and engineering group. Their goal is to educate every type of customer, both residential and commercial businesses, on how to use water efficiently and effectively. They offer a variety of free programs, rebates, educational workshops, how-to videos, and water conservation tips on their website to help you make the most of your water use. They'll even come to your home or business and provide you valuable information on how you can save water outdoors, since up to 70% of all water used every day is for outdoor watering. For more information on Scottsdale's Water Resources Planning and Engineering Group, please visit www.scottsdaleaz.gov water.